Greenwood Chevrolet in Austintown is going the extra mile. With the largest inventory of new 2020 Chevrolet vehicles, your journey to a better vehicle starts at the Mahoning Valley's number one new car dealer, Greenwood Chevrolet in Austintown. Hi everybody, DJ Yokely here with a very special guest. It's the first spring sports player profile and it is for Austin Town Fitch, one of my favorite players to watch on the diamond, Lorenzo Russo. Renz, how are you, buddy? Good, how are you? Doing well, man, doing well. First, my question is, I know I just asked you how you were doing. Reality, uh, devastation hit you again in this past football season. Talk to me about what happened where you're at in your recovery, and if we're going to see you on the ball field this this spring. Um, I played football this senior year, uh, tore my ACL again for the third time, but I didn't let that set me back. Uh, I've been doing a lot of physical therapy for the past six months. Uh, my this a trainer at the school, she's been uh, helping me a lot with uh, getting my like strength back. Uh, my uh balance and everything like that uh and not yet i haven't started uh, anything with baseball yet because i haven't been cleared april 1st i'll be cleared for the season so then i'll start with things with like you know swinging throwing stuff like that to be an 18 year old young man uh and have to go through three acl injuries what is that like on your psyche and how do you overcome that adversity uh i mean that's life you know it is what it is I can't do anything about it. I mean, obviously, I could not play the sport, but that's that's all I do is play sports. That's what I love to do. So I just put it behind me, work on getting better, getting stronger, and don't want to put it put it just put it behind me. First thought whenever you went down with a knee injury. Uh, I knew I knew what it was. It wasn't my first rodeo, but the first thing I thought about was baseball, baseball, baseball. I just I want to get back and play baseball. So I just worked my butt off and. And I'm here now. So you're j literally just inches away from reaching that goal. And obviously, all of a sudden, this coronavirus hits. What are your thoughts on on kind of how it's impacted your senior year? Uh, I mean, again, it's I mean, it's life. It's I if it was something like someone did something like, oh, like I'll be kind of mad about it, like I'm mad at someone. But I, there's nothing we can really do. Just hope for the best. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I, I hope we'll be able to play baseball, but I mean, just got to stay positive and do your best, you know? I love how mellow you are because inside, I know the athlete in you is chomping at the bit to get on that beautiful turf field there at Austin Town Fitch. Uh, yeah. How excited are you to get back on the diamond, get things going again, prove your worth? Because you are, I mean, just the way you play baseball is how every kid should do it. I mean, you are Charlie Hustle. You're always going, always on the run. You play it the right way. Uh, tell me about where you learned that and, and how you've kind of filled in over the, the last few years. Uh, I'd say a big part of me learning like that would be my dad. You know, he's really pushed me to like be my best, like do the best, you know, go out there, give him my all, hustle, have a lot of grit and stuff like that. And then I just can't wait. Senior year, I'm ready. What are you out to accomplish this year personally and as a team? Um, I really wanted last year, uh, what was the uh, first team all district? I really was really was upset I did not get that. Uh, I'm really hoping for that this year. Uh, I really want to get my batting, my batting average up and not a lot of errors in the field for sure. And then from a, a conference standpoint, you obviously want to win the conference with, with your Falcon teammates. Um, but what else is there from a team standpoint? Do you guys have something that you've been kind of working out in, in some of the workouts that you've had prior to this kind of uh, stoppage? Uh, well, we haven't really done much as of right now. I mean, I'm sure pretty soon we're being, we've been talking, we've been texting about like stuff we can do and meet up. But from the before the season like started, like what we did before this whole like Corona stuff, uh, we've done a lot of like practice, our inner squats and stuff. I haven't been able to do any of them because I've been hurt, but I mean, I've still been there like helping out, like teaching some of the younger kids and stuff like that. So when you look at the field that you get to play on, you're, you're a bit blessed, I would say, uh, with that awesome field there just off yes. of your school. Uh, do you have a preference between natural grass and, uh, and the turf that you guys have? Uh, I love the turf before my ACL injuries, but I've, I looked into the studies and my doctors have said that turf is worse for that. 
but personally i like the turf more but i would feel safer on grass but i would definitely definitely love our turf the most what's nice is you guys get to play uh basically whenever as long as it's not a torrential downpour and and uh and a tsunami you guys can still play uh given the nature of, of what's underneath your feet is that, is that cool for you as a baseball player or or would you rather have those those opportunities to uh to have the rain outs and things of that nature and play in pristine condition uh definitely would love to wait and stuff like for like the good weather and stuff but i like knowing that why we have the turf field and if we have a game on this day and this time i know that at this day at this time i know we're gonna play just because of how nice the field it is you're such a baseball player such a baseball player <laughs> you can you can tell you're a position guy and not a catcher um mm -hmm. when, when you talk about all the the great things that your teammates bring to the table this is a very special senior class that you're a part of talk about your teammates and how much they mean to you uh they mean a lot uh compared to last year this year i like them more obviously because like they're my grades and last year they weren't like the same grade as me uh grew up with them played with them all my life you know hanging out playing in the backyard with them uh, and i just can't wait to spend the senior year with them when you talk about how special this season could be for you and your Falcon teammates, what do you think about the most? Uh, winning the conference. That's, that really hurt us last year. You know, falling up short, losing to Boardman and Canfield. And I really hope we can get them again this year. All right, we're going to go rapid fire, kick it old school. I'm going to give you a, a series of questions. Just give me uh, the, the, what suits you the best, okay? So you're a baseball right. player, wood or aluminum? Oh, aluminum for sure. Okay. Yeah. You want to be infield or outfield? Outfield. Are you a uh, hot dog or hamburger guy at the ballpark? Hot dog. Let's go pizza or steak? Pizza. Pizza over steak. Wow. Okay. I'm Italian. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, let's go with your favorite restaurant here in the Youngstown area. Oh. I would go with Falcon Grill. In Falcon Austin Grill. Time. Okay. Yep. Let's go with you can watch one movie for the rest of your life. What is that movie? Step Brothers. Step Brothers. All right. <laughs> I dig it. Uh, if you could uh, pick any car to have for the rest of your life, what's your dream car and why? Uh, I would say uh, a Camaro. Just because I love watching uh, Transformers and Bumblebee. I just always like that car. Would you go with Chevy the yellow Camaro. Camaro? Yeah, yellow. Oh, you're flat. You are an outfielder, a flashy outfielder. Yep. Uh, let's let's talk about uh, your personal life. Who's your role model? Uh, my dad for sure. My dad for sure. Why is that? Uh, just he's taught me so much since when I was younger. You know, having a bad attitude when I was a little kid, and you know, always getting in fights and stuff. And he always taught me like right from wrong. Who's the player you most emulate on the baseball field? Sorry? Who's the baseball player you most emu or most want to be like when you take the field? Francisco Lindor. Lindor, okay. Why is that? Yeah. Just flashy. I like his style. I like the way he plays. He's real smooth. I love his swing. If you could be on any team from professional baseball, would it be the Indians? Yes, yes. So you just the, the red, white, and blue just works for you, except yep. for that yellow Chevy yep. Camaro. Uh, yeah, that, that's the only that, thing. Stand that, of out. course, you can get right here at where is it? Right here at Greenwood Chevrolet in Austin. Yeah. Town. Proud sponsor of Austin Town <laughs> Pitch Player Profile. We are joined by Lorenzo Russo. Renz, thank you so much for the time. We yep. appreciate it. Get thank back on that me. diamond and let's go, Falcons. Yep, let's go, Falcons. Thanks, buddy. Yep.